The first time I ever saw a body go cold, I was on top of her. I begin to notice now, being downwind from loneliness, that like raft logs in white water, I am both afloat and sunken, praying for the day I am named driftwood and burned as two lovers spend sand in the search for beauty not seen by firelight. I am not waterlogged yet, but I've swallowed my share of rapids. And I know there isn't enough wine in the world to wash me from you, so this is my apology, Mary. And if I were half the man I pretend to be, I wouldn't write this with the claws that it never escaped my cheek. I never meant to leave your picket fence twisted, but I'm not one to understand the art of patience or timing. I've spent my entire life trying to fall in love with poems, making sure to forget that I had found one. So this is for all the symbolism I missed when I treated you like a pebble through a pond kiss. Can you forgive foolhardiness of this caliber? I should think not. But I'll continue to etch mistakes into my collarbone so as not to tamper with the evidence. I always had a thing for the way your mouth wrote on me with tattoo-shaped teeth but your script is so small. I still wear glasses to find you in this dead chest of sea scrolls. My parchment stays rolled most days, finds its way to the popular table amongst the clutter. Only lets me read late into the night when my cells are drunk and there are pictures of your cells near them. And in those pictures, there are shadows of the carbon you burned and the race to be patient that I never let you finish. Shadows of the moments when I tucked you into my tummy and began to feel far too good about myself. Shadows of our last chance to trust someone, but there are no shadows of my understanding. Tam, thought I had it figured out this time. 